Hi guys, this is Ranjit, and as you can see, I have uh, Mr. Srihari from Realme with me, and uh, we're going to have some casual chat. I uh, uh, wanted to meet him physically, but it's been almost two years, right, uh, since we met? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but Idea, now, please. today, again, you have a new smartphone, okay, the Realme GT yeah. Neo 2, again, a new, hmm. uh, I know you want to share something very exclusive right now on this video. Yeah. I'm hoping, I'm just yeah. hoping. Huh? Yeah. Well, so, but before we talk about that, because this year we started this new, uh, what do you say, GT series. So before you talk about this particular smartphone, what is this about this uh, GT series? So uh, GT series for us, actually, first of all, thank you so much. It's an honor to be on your channel talking to you. Uh, and uh, talking about GT series, see, GT is something that always has stood for cutting edge technology for us. Uh, we brought two GT smartphones in India and uh, the GT 5G, of course, one of the fastest Android phones that you can find there in the market, right? Uh, so that is what GT was for. And you will see a lot more of GT series now uh, moving forward also into the next year. So first, first uh, a bit point for, for, for this call that we will see a lot more of GT series now. And GT Neo 2 is, of course, the next step in that GT series and expanding that series. But I think so, your GT series is slightly flagship. So I'm hoping this one is also going to be a flagship smartphone. But uh, before, because now as you're telling, this is sort of a flagship, you already have a flagship, right? The Realme GT with the Snapdragon 888, you already have that, right? Now, I believe uh, we, we've seen this transformation. The meaning of flagship has changed. Right. First, there used to be one phone that you would call flagship and then be done with it. Now, in different segments, we have like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now what happens is the performance has become so good. Uh, and the chipset that we are coming out now is can very easily be called a flagship chipset as well, even with the AAA existing. So GT Neo 2 is, is a flagship phone by every stretch of that word. So this is not going to replace the Realme GT, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the GT 5G stays, of course, as our topmost phone, the, the top of the deck. So uh, can you just reveal uh, something about uh, this uh, smartphone? So what what does uh, this, it makes it special, okay? Different, uh, let's say, you already have a GT with Snapdragon 888, right? Yes. So the GT Neo 2, first of all, the Neo moniker. So GT, I told you, right? Cutting edge, cutting edge technology. Neo is, I believe, uh, something that truly... Uh, uh, new. Talks about new, new. new. <laughs> It's new, exactly, it's new. We try to do something new and when you see these devices, I'm sure you will say, yes, that looks new for sure. By the way, I haven't uh, guys uh, seen this device yet, okay? Just being very fair about it. <laughs> so we get to see it, see it soon. <laughs> so, uh, so that Neo is for the youth. We are a brand that, that does uh, go out, build features based on what feedback we get from our community as well, which is a lot of young people, right? Uh, and GT Neo 2 is, of course, a phone that's meant for a lot of those people as well and with the premium features. So, I mean, uh, we have a lot of things to talk about in the GT Neo 2. Uh, why don't we start with the display? Let's start with the display, right? Okay, Let's yeah. Display, right? I'm assuming it will be AMOLED, right? Because it's a your GT, you're telling all GTs as of till now have an AMOLED. I hope this one also has an AMOLED. <laughs> yes, yes. It is an AMOLED display. Uh, but it's a special AMOLED display. It's an E4 AMOLED display. Uh, so, when, yeah, when you do your battery test, you see that uh, screen takes most battery life, right? A huge chunk, obviously. So E4 is very good with colors. It provides a lot of luminance. So brightness is very good at 1300 nits. This is peak brightness of 1300 nits. Yeah. One of the highest you can find. Yeah, that's what 1300 is. Huh. Yeah, and but it also saves battery life. Uh, it's very power efficient. In fact, uh, it saves 15% more battery life compared to a traditional AMOLED display. So when we used E4, we were able to produce 30 minutes of more usage out of the phone just because we used the E4 display. So it's a more efficient display, you could say. And and beautiful, equally beautiful. Uh, beautiful, you're meaning like, okay, let's talk about some specification. What? It's still 120 hertz? It's 120 hertz. Yeah, yeah. It's 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, but apart from the refresh rate on the screen, when it comes to gaming, we also have generally when you see refresh rate, what is it? It's double the, uh, the touch sampling rate, sorry, double the refresh rate or triple sometimes, right? So when you, when you're using the phone, the GT Neo 2 in normal mode, you'll get around 300 Hertz. But when you're using it for gaming, you'll get 600 Hertz of continuous touch sampling rate. So your so there's a special gaming mode in this. Yeah, of huh? course there's GT mode in this. But when you're gaming, that 600 hertz is gonna give you those taps. So all for all the people who are gonna do BGMI, it's gonna give those taps. But other things, uh, 1300 nits, 
where do we use this 1300 nits it has to be used somewhere right it has to be used somewhere outdoor <laughs> outdoor <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> but more yeah. because that's the main point more with more a lot of amoled screens what i find indoors everything fine but direct in the sun sometime okay oh okay <laughs> that that's where it uh, counts 1300 nits is something that's going to make that very easy also this is the first realme smartphone display that has hdr 10 plus so hopefully netflix yeah. hdr will work on this one right yes so hdr 10 plus uh, uh and that 1300 nits display it's going to yeah, exactly now uh, let's move to the processor that's the heart yes the heart the heart of the phone and i think the heart of the phone we gave a hint to people right because we are already saying 778 yeah because gt has has to be something your flagship it is it is the snapdragon 870 chipset and i've seen your videos i know you have thoughts about 870 right yeah 870 i feel it's a very optimal uh, what do you say uh, soc i have used a lot of smartphones with snapdragon 888 yes fine boss but battery life issues heating issues 888 so that way some of the phones that i use with snapdragon 870 i felt were more practical for 95% of the users that's what i felt right right in fact that is what we we had a some challenge with the 870 because Uh, it's a one plus three plus four architecture, right? You have one core that's higher clocked, three point two gigahertz. In fact, three point two gigahertz is the highest clock speed you can find also on an Android phone. So three point two gigahertz. Now what happens is heat is if there's power, there's heat, right? That is going to be there, which is why we've actually worked to make sure that there is a very robust co- cooling system. So um, we have a very very robust cooling system inside the GT Neo two, and we can talk about that as well. um th- that is a cooling system that i think you're going to enjoy using as well i don't know how many uh, how much you play how much you game on your phones yeah. i don't play in this uh, that much but i think so people who uh, do that gaming continuously for like one hour extra or stuff like that it will be good you're telling oh definitely so what what oh, is definitely. it's like multiple layers of uh, what uh, cooling chambers or vapor cooling or like how okay vc vapor vapor cooling system right vc cooling so we call it the call it the stainless steel vapor cooling plus and uh, this is a system it's an eight layer cooling system eight layers that's what that's what like eight layers like everybody was like okay four yeah. six <laughs> yeah in fact in fact what what is the thing a chipset works it it produces performance and produces heat now it if heat stays there uh, the processor has to bring down performance throttle it down yeah then people see that fps in the gaming it drops down and whatever yeah. Huh? yeah and when it cools down it comes up again then drops down that is not what we want in fact we were talking to gamers actually a lot of gamers they said we want sustained performance top performance is great and all but we want stable performance and that is what we tried to do with the cooling system so eight layer cooling system in fact the vc area the vapor cooling area is the largest that you can find it's 4129 mm square it's very large in fact the whole area is uh, 17000 plus around 17900 mm square plus uh, this is a lot in fact In fact, this I give an example uh, of heating with larger area. Why heating is better? I I always say, let's say you you are uh, going to eat sambar. <laughs> you are going to eat sambar in a in a you know you get it in a bowl or you put it in a large plate. The sambar cools down quicker in a large plate. Well, more area for heat dissipation. Exactly what happens here. So looks well, like you guys are targeting gamers with this device. Gamers as well. Uh, today. Uh, Today we have people who will go to office, look all suave, come home, and then spend three hours on BGM. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So, so they also want to look cool in an office meeting, but they also want to have the best of the best gaming features, and that is where this helps. In fact, one one small thing that might get many people interested: this cooling system. There's thermal gel, right? In PC, we use thermal gel. So, thermal gel that we use here uses diamond particles. Wow! Can I take you down to diamond? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, need to get more units now. <laughs> okay, one thing I really wanted to know, and I think so. Uh, I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I think so. This will touch to a lot of people uh, who are use the phone these days. We use the phone a lot of for what do you say, entertainment, watching videos, watching stuff. So, what about speakers, man? I hope this has stereo speakers, please. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, it does. It does. Your your wish is granted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's such a practical <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, like nice, nice to see. So did you do, do yeah, something special in this yeah. special with the speakers or something? Yeah, yeah, dual speakers, which means the earpiece also acts as a secondary speaker and Dolby Atmos, right? Uh, so with Dolby Atmos and the stereo speakers, you're gonna have a good experience for sure. 
it's it's a it's about the experience when it comes to a premium product right about a flagship it's about the experience so yes so you got these things right the display the processor the okay now what about the battery uh, because it's having a snapdragon 870 so what about the battery because people uh, as you're telling people are doing a lot of gaming these days right yes 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 yeah, yes, yes, yes. and that is a battery killer <laughs> yeah, it, oh definitely it is definitely it, along with the screen so uh, so uh, for battery, generally when you look at flagship phones, you have 4,000, 4,200. Here we have a massive sweet spot, right? Here, the, our sweet spot is 5,000. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I'm... ZT Neo 2 is 5,000 5, and I'm pretty sure because it's real me, it'll have fast charging. Oh, yes. 65 watt charger in the box, cable also in the box. Cable also. <laughs> I like it, I like it. <laughs> so, uh, 65 watt and 0 to 100% 36 minutes. This is for 5000 mAh. Wow, not bad, not bad. Good. Yeah, so. So, looks good. Actually, looks good. Okay, I completely forgot. As you told, it's an AMOLED screen, right? Uh, uh, and mm -hmm. it has good brightness. And how about in display fingerprint? Uh, 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 in display yeah, fingerprint, yeah. or this is the side one? It's an in display fingerprint scanner. Uh, to make sure that you can use it and with an AMOLED display that's that's something that we have made it standard across our portfolio if it's an AMOLED display we have an in display fingerprint scan okay yeah. we'll have it okay cool yeah. and so I think so the only thing left uh, to know is I think so uh, what about the cameras what do you guys do about the cameras uh, we have a triple camera setup at the back it's it's that uh, uh, that there was a lot of talk about that uh, very surprised look in the camera module. If you look at the camera module from side, it looks like a very surprised person. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, wow. please show us the device, right? I think so. You have it. You're looking down somewhere. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's, yeah, yeah. Let, let me actually show the device that I'm talking about, the camera, right? So, I'm going to show you the... I would say my favorite color, the color that stands out. And, and you know, why I say at the year end, you see YouTube videos, right? Uh, awards. So you'll have a big table and you'll have all the phones of the year. This phone, if you keep there, you will notice it. It, you will, it will not go unnoticed, right? And yeah, and that is the, the neo green color. Oh, that's nice. And and uh, looks like the back is glass, right? Or it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, the back is shine. glass. Okay. So what is any protection you guys are using on the glass? Yeah, so uh, front we have Gorilla Glass 5 and uh, oleophobic coating. So, it's, so yeah, that's something that you're going to have fun with. Uh, the back also, it's matte finish. So this area is matte finish. So this Neo Green has a special uh, thing because it's matte finish here. And this black strip is glossy. And this is the surprise person I was talking about. Oh, yeah, it looks like a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the setup? Looks like uh, the main will be like what? Uh, 64 or something like that? Yeah, 64 megapixel primary camera, uh, 8 megapixel uh, uh, secondary ultra wide, and uh, 2 megapixel macro. So a 64 megapixel triple camera setup, um, and uh, and we have a ton of uh, cool features when it comes to camera. We I, I, if you check out our uh, existing phone ZTME, I'm sure I know you tested. Uh, so so there were a ton of features in that. You know st street photography mode. We've brought that to ZT Neo 2. So it, this yeah. will have everything. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, this will have uh, street photography mode, so all that filters, focus peaking, something we only saw in DSLRs generally, right? right. Yeah, yeah. So focus peaking is here. Uh, we also have various Kodak, Co there's a Kodak inspired filter also. Um, and and we also have starry mode, if you remember the X3 Super Zoom. The starry mode from there is is in this also. So yeah, that's here. Cool. So I think so. Uh, we know everything. Uh... Srihari, now uh, I just need to know what's the pricing, yaar. what's the pricing of this one and I, before that you tell me the pricing, I know you'll tell me, uh, so the uh, regular uh, GT uh, that uh, we have will stay and even the GT Master yeah, Edition yeah. will stay, so this is not replacing any yeah. of those products. So the GT series is, so it looks like this is so coming in the middle. Well, you, you, you know a lot like about that. smartphones, so, I'm trying to get so your guess is of course going to be very good, very very good, right? <laughs> So, what can uh, users expect uh, regarding the pricing or something? Give us something, right? You have shown us the phone. Yes, I've shown the phone. I've talked about features. <laughs> Actually, I got a little bit more than I expected. <laughs> Generally, <Yeah. laughs> these don't even show the phone. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have a meeting after this. People are looking, staring at me. <laughs> so, uh, so, but with the GTC, 
one of the things I always uh, talk about this for consumers from a Realme uh, when it comes to buying a Realme smartphone. It's always going to be value for money. At any value for money can exist at any price, right? It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be just a budget phone to call it value for money. Value for money means what all other features that you're putting in versus what is the price that you're able to give for it, and if you're able to justify it, uh-huh. that we'll do. Okay. And that 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 will happen, and it's somewhere in the middle is as as you mentioned as well when you talk about those two phones as well. So let's. See. I won't pick your brain, so to... but I know you cannot tell me the price. So okay, at least I'm getting some ideas in my head. But uh, yeah. Uh, but when is this going to be officially announced? The pricing and everything, all the details. When will the users know? The so launch event is on thirteenth of 13th, October. Thirteenth, yeah, thirteenth October. So everything has been. Yeah. So Sriyari, yes, I won't pick your brains. I know you can't tell us the price. We'll know that on 13th October. Anything else yeah. uh, finishing, uh, whatever, because this video is getting pretty long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like the battery life of the GT Neo 2. <laughs> so uh, so uh, the GT Neo 2, as I mentioned, is, is going to be something that that is uh, going to give you a premium experience, a lot of power, but a lot of uh, suave as well. Even when you carry it with you, a lot of style. So that's for the GT Neo 2. And the GT series is the next step, uh, okay. taking us into the next realm. We started just three years ago, right? Uh, you know that we started right in front of you. Uh, let's put it that way. And uh, we uh, last year, if you remember, uh, we had uh, the top seven, the top seventh brand in the world. Now we were the top sixth. Oh, manufacturer nice. in the world in just oh. three years and if you talk about android manufacturers we are the number fifth oh. android manufacturer in the world it's, uh, it's a, and the growth we, is like crazy man the growth is like crazy yes <laughs> we're very uh, we're very hungry people we, we uh, and 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 the best thing is we keep very close to people if you look we talk a lot with consumers create a community so that just helps us yeah, one and, of the uh, brands I would say you take criticism constructively. We say some stuff like this. Yeah, we see something improving in the next six months or something, eight months. We see yeah. that, and I appreciate. That's that, thank you so much. I get a lot of feedback from you as well. <laughs> um, so, yes. So, anyway, so uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we know all the detail. I think so. We regarding the specs, we know everything about the device now. It's just the pricing, the variants, multiple colors of what, what, what we have. We know that on 13. Again, Sriyari, again, thanks for taking out the time and I had a great time uh, chatting with you. Yeah, it was so casual and uh, you shared so much information about this. Again, thanks for that. <laughs> yes, yes, it was, it was worth it. I know, I, I know I'll get a lot of talk after this, but it was worth it. It was a great conversation. <laughs> And uh, looking forward to what you think about the GT Neo 2 also. Yeah, I did get it till now, guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it before 13th. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, anyways, uh, guys, uh, uh, take care. And uh, thanks again, uh, Shriyari, for uh, this uh, session. Yeah, had a great time. Yes, thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.